Hi YouTubers or anyone that was bored enough to actually click and watch this video. But basically this is the Honeycomb Chronicles, this is the first video. And basically me and a couple of my friends decided to vlog to each other because we're in college now and we can't, you know, always talk to each other because we're all so busy. So this is just basically like a diary of our daily lives and what we've been up to. So hopefully you enjoy it. The topic for today is rules. So there are two types of people in the world. There's the people that think, oh, rules are meant to be broken. And then there's the other type of people which to think uh, rules should be followed. I fall in the latter category because I follow rules to the T. I think rules should be followed, you know, that's why they're there. The reason I'm talking about rules today is because um, a couple weeks ago, events transpired and my friends actually made rules for me specifically so here they are um, they're called rules for Jennifer and okay so rule number one don't touch things ie people cats dogs or things um, I don't touch people I don't like them touching me so I don't touch them but things and animals I do touch I guess is to compensate for not touching people but yeah so sometimes you know I like to touch straight animals because they're just so cute you know but my friends say no don't like they'll give you diseases stay away from them so I'm not supposed to touch animals um, and things yeah I just touch I touch everything I don't know why it's sort of like an OCD thing but there was one day I was in the art room and there was a blade and right above it it said sharp object do not touch like do not touch in underlined bolded letters but I don't know why I was thinking that day but I was just like you know maybe it's not sharp like is it really sharp so I went and touched it and it was sharp so yeah that's rule number one rule number two don't get in a car with strangers okay so there's actually a funny story that happened um, I went to donate blood one day and if and when you donate blood afterwards, they um, they keep you there for about 10 to 15 minutes so you can refresh yourself so you don't, you know, like, pass out when you leave the blood station. Um, but yeah, I'm actually, like, a very awkward person. I don't like awkward silences, so I try to keep up conversations at all costs. Um, but yeah, I met a girl there, and I'm, I was just like, oh, hey, I'm Jennifer, what's your name? So we just talked a little bit. And then it was about her time to leave, and I had five more minutes left. So she was about to leave and she said, oh, did you have lunch yet? And I said, no, I haven't. And she said, well, do you want to have lunch with me? I'm like, I like lunch. So yeah, like, let's go. And then she said, oh, okay, did you drive here? I'm like, no, I bike. She said, oh, don't worry, like, I can drive you. And then I was like, yeah, how nice of her. Like, let's go, okay? Then we were driving. We ended up going to Taco Bell. But in the middle of her driving me, I was thinking, she could be abducting me at this very moment. And I, like, voluntarily got into the car with her, like, this complete stranger. And, I mean, she ended up not abducting me. Um, she she was really nice, actually. She's in one of my classes, too. So, it all worked out for the best. But I think, as a general rule, I should not get into cars with strangers anymore. Rule three, don't share utensils with strangers. Um, that's actually a given, but... There's actually another story that goes to that, so I'll tell you that later, but, um, yeah, don't, don't share utensils with strangers. <laughs> okay, so, rule four, don't tell people where you live. That's a given, but, especially in, uh, college, I mean, when you have to go study someplace with someone, um, you tell them where you live, you know, but, in my defense, I don't tell people where I live. I tell them the general area in which I reside. So I say like, oh, I live north here or west here. I don't tell them like my apartment complex or my apartment number or like where I live specifically in that building. But yeah, still, you don't, you shouldn't tell people where you live. That is a good rule to follow. And then finally, rule five, don't be so trustworthy of everyone you meet. Okay, so personally, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. I don't, I don't want to, you know, assume that they're th this horrible person. Although, like from the news and everything of all these abductions and kidnappings, people should think that. But I don't. I mean, if people think that of me, I don't really care. But if, I mean, I, I go to people and then I don't automatically think like, 
like paranoid parrot, like, oh my gosh, like he's following me, he's gonna kidnap me, he's gonna murder me. I don't think that. <clears throat> so, I mean, I make conversations with everyone, I like meeting new people, but of course, you, I know I shouldn't because there are crazy people in the world, and I'm pretty sure that's how kidnappings happen. So, I, I mean, I'm gonna follow that rule to some extent, but hopefully everyone I meet don't turn out to be serial killers, please. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, these rules, I actually have to sign it too. So it's official now. I have to follow these rules probably for the rest of my life. But these are also general rules that you should follow too. Um, but yeah, so what are some of your rules? Do you follow them? Are you a rule breaker? Are you a rule follower? Tell me and tell me how your day goes. Bye.